Hey guys, welcome back to another Championships Predictions video. We are up to game week 24, the festive fixtures. Games taking place on Boxing Day, the 27th and the 28th of December. Looking back at last week, top scorer with a great score of 18 points was Malogalu. And he, or she, I think it's a he, came away with three perfect scores. Leading the way, though, in the overall table is still GKK474, currently on 204 points, just ahead of Mark Chapman in second place. So let's swiftly move on and make our predictions for the festive fixtures. So first up, on the 26th of December, Boxer Day, got Bristol City coming up against West Brom. West Brom suffering defeat in their last fixture away against Coventry. But they lost 1-0. And Bristol City only won victory now in the last six matches and the defeat against Stoke last time out. So I think West Brom will bounce back in this one. I think they'll concede, but ultimately I can see them winning 2-1. Then we've got Burnley coming up against a Birmingham side who uh, you never know really what to expect with Birmingham. They have only lost once in their last six matches and Burnley winning six of their last seven matches with a good 3-1 victory against Middlesbrough last time out. So in this one, I think Burnley, again at home, festivities, lots of people in a good mood. So I'm gonna go for a 2-0 victory to Birmingham. I think they're a defence will hold out there. Cardiff City coming up against QPR now. Historically, Cardiff City never really do well. A boxing day, QPR, has suffered five defeats in their last six matches, although they did get a very, very good win against Preston in the last game week. This one, though, I think Cardiff City, two draws. They're up against some real dodgy referee decisions in that last fixture against Blackpool. So I think this one's going to end up in a draw as well, and I'm going to go for another 1-1 draw for the Bluebirds. Then we move on to Hull City against Blackpool. Blackpool, I wasn't impressed with the way they played uh, last week against Cardiff at all. Hull City, only one win in their last six and a, a, a decent enough draw against Sunderland, but I'm going to tip them to win this match against Blackpool and I can see them running out narrowly with a 2-1 victory. Then we move on to Kenil Road where Luton take on Norwich. Now Norwich getting defeated at home against Blackburn Rovers. Uh, Luton, Nathan Jones of course has left the club and since he's left and they haven't been doing too well. Another defeat last time against Middlesbrough and uh, they've only won once in their last seven matches which was against Blackpool and uh, Blackpool not looking great at the moment. So I'm going to have to go for a Norwich victory in this one and I'm going to go for a 2-0 away victory to the Canaries. We then move on up to the Riverside Stadium where Middlesbrough take on Wigan Athletic with Middlesbrough have been in fine form recently which have seen the move up to 14th in the table. Wigan in all sorts of trouble at the uh, in 23rd position in the table in the relegation zone, losing four matches of their last seven as well. Middles from themselves, losing the last match against Burnley, who top of the table, of course. But I think this is going to be a straightforward victory to Middlesbrough, and I'm going to go for a 3 1 victory. Then we move on to Preston North End at Deepdale, taking on Huddersfield, who are, of course, at the bottom of the league, four defeats in their last seven matches. Preston, I think, I think they've only won some like couple of games at home all season so well whilst their away form has been excellent their home form has been terrible but uh, Huddersfield bottom of the table you know what I'm gonna go for a draw in this one I'm gonna go for a 1-1 a draw so each of them get a point at Christmas then we move on to the Majestic Stadium probably the most boringest team in the whole of the EFL sorry Reading fans uh, four defeats now in their last seven matches after the, a fine fine start to the season since the international break or oh, World Cup they did have pick up that very good victory against Coventry and um, a loss against Birmingham Swansea though look at that five draws in the last seven matches can't pick up a win always seem to have to come from behind so 
Are they scoring? They are scoring. Come back from 3-0 down, of course, against Coventry in the last game. They could actually come away with all three points in this one. But I am going to go for another draw between these two sides. And I'm going to go for a 1-1 scoreline. Then we move to the New York Stadium, which sees Rotherham take on Stoke City. Stoke have a very good win against Bristol City in the last match. Uh, Rotherham dropping like a stone now in the table. Currently, they're in 19th position. I did tip them to go down this season. It looks like they're going to struggle now for us this season. Can Stoke, though, get a win in this one? But I'm going to go for another draw in this one. I think Rotherham at home should pull something out of the bag against Stoke, and I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one draw. Then we've got Sheffield United coming up against Coventry. Coventry, an excellent win against West Brom in game week 23, but Sheffield United, the, the machine, just keeps getting better and better. And I'm going to go for another victory to Sheffield United at probably a packed Bramall Lane here, and I'm going to go for a 2-0 win. Then we move on to Sunderland up there in the Stadium Light. Stadium Light taking on Blackburn Rovers. You never know what you're going to get with Blackburn as well. They came back from international break and got smashed 4-1 at home against Preston. And then they beat Norwich, who'd have fought away from home. Sunderland drawing last time out against Hull at home. Festive period. I'm going to go for a home win. I'm going to give Sunderland a 2-1 victory in that one. And then the final fixture of these festive fixtures. See, Watford take on Millwall. Millwall, two wins in their last seven. And uh, Watford, four wins in their last seven matches. Only one defeat, though. Millwall, two defeats. A draw last time out against Wigan. I'm going to have to fancy Watford in this one. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 victory so actually shall I give yeah I'm going to give uh, Millwall a goal in this one yeah a 3-1 victory to the Hornets that concludes my predictions for week 24 of this 2022-2023 season make sure you leave your predictions over at the Superbrew website and leave them in the comments section as well it is of course a very very busy period football wise got Premier League predictions championship position predictions once these games are finished we move straight on to week 25 so there will be a lot of videos Videos coming out from myself over this period as well but uh, yeah as I said Merry Christmas to you all enjoy yourselves enjoy the football as well and I'll see you all in the next video